So, but anyway, this is the stuff. You'll be here every week at on Wednesdays. So, um, let's run into the news. So, no. No. Nope. We gotta say what we're doing today. But that's that's kind of what it meant. Hey, whatever. You do your thing, man. So, first off, we'll be going through the news. We'll have some things from Kevin Smith, Jumanji, and Dude. Netflix, and... Idiocracy. Then, we will be showing you the trailer for The Bye Bye Man. Going after that will be our weekly discussion, your top five favorite films that are inspired by comic books. Then, we'll be giving you what is coming out in theaters next week. Right. And then, you can watch Sensible Gaming with this guy and another special fellow. And so, uh, we have maybe one special guest watching today, not so much a guest on the show, but uh, Selena, she was on... Pangea yeah, music, music, but she's watching live now. She was um, a guest host in Pangea Gaming. Yeah, so she she's uh, been awesome, and almost been on every show I think. Um, and then yeah. Hannah should be watching too eventually. All right. But so, saying hi to you guys. News time. Is it not a thing? All right. <laughs> so, uh, Kevin Smith, Askew, uh, View Askew Production. So, Kevin Smith, the director of. Clerks, Clerks 2, blah, 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 blah. He, his upcoming sequel to the 1995 Mallrats film, currently dubbed Mallrats, is now going to not be a movie. It's going to be a 10-episode TV miniseries. So what happened was, so I love Mallrats. I like the movie too. I love every, anything Kevin Smith. So when I found out, besides Clerks 3... There was going to be a Mallrats, a, a sequel to Mallrats. Oh, well, was, a prequel. It's a sequel, I think. It follows it. It's after. Oh, okay. So then it's a sequel. No. I was really excited. Especially when they said that all 15 members of the original cast were going to be there. Mm -hmm. But what happened, I didn't know this, and I recently found this out. Due to Universal Studios owning the rights to the Mallrats title... It forced Kevin Smith to negotiate with them on trying to get the rights to the title and the, the characters and stuff. And this prevented him from making it independently. Ooh, excuse me. He couldn't make the film independently. So he had to negotiate and make a deal with them. And that deal ended up with this being a 10-episode miniseries. Which I'm actually kind of upset, kind of upset about. So if it's a miniseries, it, I haven't read anything, found any information... Are they going to be half an hour? Are they going to be hour, hour long? long? If that's 10 hour long episodes, that's 10 hours of mall brats. And then the question also poses, is it going to actually be the or is original it cast? Hours? Is it going to be original cast? Because um, it's a lot different from movie to film. Um, film to television. Well, I think this worked better with them because instead of having to go and film the movie in one shot, like all together, yeah, because they're all actors and stuff that have gigs, like oh, Jason yeah. Lee and stuff. And they have things going on. I think this works better because they can film their episode and then they go work on whatever they're also working on. They film another episode and then... But the, it's just different contracts and, um, like, they wanted to make... Uh, you, you know about Divergent? Yeah. The movie Divergent? Divergent? Um, yeah. Like, there was an article I think I just skimmed through, which was she didn't want to... She didn't sign up to be a television show because they wanted to go to television. So she is pretty much like backing off of it, I, I think. Um, but just the point is, like, it's a lot different when you go to television. Like, that's why they can't hire um, whoever was the character for the actual Superman in Batman vs Superman when they do the um, actual movies or TV shows. When they do like Super the Girl. Flash as well. Like the TV show Flash is not the same as the movie Flash now. I think that's. But no, but then you have Agents of Shield. It's still 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 Phil Coulson. It was still Nick Nick, uh, Nick Fury was on there. Uh, well, it's also the Commander actors. Hill. They were they were all on that show, and they were also from the movie. Right, but they the same person that plays Sith Scythe from Thor was mm -hmm. in Thor and the the TV show. Okay, then hopefully it's gonna be the same characters. Hopefully, maybe it's just DC. Maybe it's just I think this is gonna be the same people. They have they have to because the main it's gonna be this the main characters. It has to have Jason Lee in it. It has yeah, to have Jason yeah, Lee. Of course. It has to have the guy that... Um, and if you don't know who Jason Lee is, 
He's uh, from Everybody Hates Earl. Yeah, no, he's no, the main. Everybody he's, hates he him. is Earl from Everybody Hates Earl. Uh, every hand hates Earl. No, no, it's my name is Earl. My name is. Why Earl. you? I went to Everybody me. Hates Chris. And my, name Earl. Earl, the... my name is Earl. My name is Earl. Anyway, both, in other news, both guys in My Name Is Earl is in the in in the movie. Um, in both movies. So hopefully that works out. Hopefully it gets the original cast again. Next and bit of news: Jumanji two. So. If you ever seen Jumanji, you liked it. It had uh, Robin Williams um, and those other the two actors. Robin okay, listen, it's, it's too soon, too soon. But it was it was a great movie. I watched it a couple times. Of course, when I was a kid, even now, like some recently. But the point was, like, it was a kind of a. It's there. It's you're it's in your life. But now they're coming out with Jumanji too, and I saw some screenshots. I'm not really pleased with it. Because it doesn't seem, it seems more of a, a spin-off goof kind of thing yeah. instead of a, uh, so Weird. like the next slide, I think it should be on the next slide. Um, yeah, so if I move oh, over, this is, uh, what's his name? What? Kevin Hart. Kevin he Hart. He looks so different, but then The Rock and Jack then. Jack Black. Jack Black, and she was from uh, Doctor Who, I know. Yeah. She was She's from. a bunch of stuff. She was in a horror movie, and then she played. An, uh, an American look, look at him or look English him. can you smell what the rock is cooking I could smell the baby oil ba baby oil baby oil baby oil but but the point is like they have some pretty interesting characters it just seems so I don't know how cartoonish just looking at the, what I've seen I'm confused on what this movie is about it looks like they're on a jungle expedition not playing the game Jumanji yeah so it's kind of apparently Nick Jonas is in it. He is, and he actually is. And we had a picture, but that I didn't get all into right, the slide. But the point right. is, like, it's coming out. It's just weird. I w wasn't expecting it, and especially having The Rock. Like, he's been doing some cool things, but he was also in The Tooth Fairy, which is not actually a very serious movie. And it was, you know, it's, hey, this movie. He's can go either just way. a weird character. Look, we talked last on our last recorded episode. We talked about. The animated movie Mona that he's going to be in, which is pretty cool, where he plays an animated version of himself. Um, oh, anything else to say about this? Um, it's supposed to be a continuation. A continuation? Uh, How? Dwayne Johnson, uh, sub subsequent, whatever, revealed that the film would be, in fact, a continuation. Uh, last month, he re released concept art of his character, the rugged adventurer Dr. Bravestone. That's weird. So maybe they go into the board, or maybe they, they go to the they islands. Have to. That's how would have you want to? All right, let's move on. Boom, boom, boom. Netflix. So this week, this month, well, next month. Today is September twenty eighth, technically. So, of the day this is being filmed. On September thirtieth, in two days, will be the premiere of. The Netflix, oh, I think it's Netflix original. Netflix original series, Luke Cage. All right. From Marvel, which is really cool. I'm pumped. He's a very underrated character that I really enjoy. I'm really excited. Um, but that's just coming at the end of September. So now let's get into the some of the, the notable releases that are going to be coming out on Netflix in October. So October 1st, you'll be getting Breakfast at Tiffany's. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and the Titanic. Yeah. You're also, which I didn't write down, but Days and Confused will be on Netflix. Okay. Um, October 4th, you're getting American Horror Story, Season, season 5, 5, Flash Season, season two, 2, which, ooh, I'm into that. Yeah. Arrow Season 4. 4 is coming out on October oh. 5th. Right. And The Ranch Season 1 Part 2 is coming out October 7th. So... The Ranch is, an, I think, is a Netflix exclusive. Netflix original series. Um, it stars uh, um, Ashton Kutcher and who's the guy who played Hyde in that 70s show? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, here's a... It looks like... Oh, it is a, a TV series. It's a TV series. It's a season one, part two. Right. Uh, so, I can't think of his name on top of my head. Danny Masterson... He was in um, a show that was on TBS like a while ago. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I think it was called Office Space or something. Uh, I don't know. Men at Work. Men at Work? Probably. Um, 
Men at work. That was really cool. I was really... So that was like one of his most recent things that I watched. And now this comes in. I love that they have two... Um, Different personalities? No, two That 70s Show actors oh. in this show. So... If you haven't seen season one, I suggest season one, part one, I suggest watching that and then this because um, Ashley Kutcher plays a former high school and collegiate football star that comes home with to live with his brother and dad. Danny Masterson plays his brother and they live together. And I think that's a really cool like play on these characters because they've worked together so many times. For so long, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Can you play my brother? No. Okay. In other news, um, if you ever seen Idiocracy, um, it's a pretty interesting movie. Yeah, I, I liked it. I saw it when I was younger. I was also probably like 12, 13 when I saw it. This is a rated R movie. I believe. It's a crazy movie. It was it's on Comedy Central. Comedy Central, a lot of curses, unless it's on Comedy Central and it's playing in the evening, which then it's all bleeped out. But the movie is basically uh, the guy tests out um, cryopods and he gets pretty much flung into the future because they never opened it back up. He's a pretty big idiot on his own timeline, but then but when he goes in the future, it's a bit different because now he's the smartest man on the planet. And he has to solve all their problems. Yeah, so one of the problems being um, they use Gatorade, Gatorade for hydration for plants. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, I do recommend it. It's not called Gatorade, is it? Well, no, it's it's Bronsonade. No, Bron not Bronsonade. Bron Brondo. They Brondo. use Brondo on plants. Um, but the thing is, the reason why it's in the news is because they're actually playing it back in theaters. It's only in select areas. So, wait, this is the 10th anniversary? It's the 10th anniversary of this movie. So they wanted to show it back in theaters, and there is a link somewhere. Uh, when is this coming out? It's coming out. Uh, yeah, there's a crap. Where was it? Where's the name? Mm, 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 mm. You don't have the date? I had the date somewhere. It's gotta be in it. Mm, nope, Santa Monica. October 4th. Film and post movie conversation. So, October 4th is when it should be released. Every movie theater will have its own thing. If you go to, uh, let's see, drafthouse.com drafthouse.com slash idiocracy, is there any in New there'll York? be more information. Yeah, there's one, but it doesn't say Cinemarks only. in Huntington. That's right by us. Yeah, so you have to buy tickets online. And then there's a conversation afterwards. So it's, it's pretty cool to have a movie back in the theater to watch it with people. Side note, av local advertisement. If you live on Long Island, go to Cinema Arts. This past summer, I saw a double feature in 35mm film of the first two um, Friday the 13th. No, Nightmare on Sh Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. Anyway, that's it for news. Uh, up next is our trailer, right? Yes. We'll be showing you... The Bye Bye Man. So, this is scheduled to be released January 13th, 2017. It's directed by Stacy Title. Produced by Simon Horseman, Trevor Macy, Jeffrey Soros, Seth William Meyer, Mel Melinda Nish... Nish I'm not going to try that. And it's written by Jonathan Penner. Nishoka. This is... Prepare yourself. Trailer time. He's real. If you say his name, or even think it, he'll come for you. Don't say it, don't think it. What happened? You're gonna tell me, you know that? Just don't make me say it. Don't say it, don't think it. If I tell you about him, you and your kids, you're all dead. Well, house off campus with John Henry and a live-in girlfriend. Should we do it? <laughs> yeah. You ready for this?
there's something happening. He's found us. Who? Thank you. Don't say bye bye, man. <laughs> like a virus. Don't say it, don't think it. It could spread everywhere. I'm not gonna let it happen. Please! Don't say it, don't think it! We have to help them! No, no, it's a trick! So that was the trailer for The Bye Bye Man. I'm not into horror movies. That seems more like weird than anything else, yeah. not even like horror. I saw the trailer in theaters, and in a dark theater watching that, it was really spooky. That that movie's, it's, if you're into that, which I watch I, every horror movie that comes out, even though I, I'm, a, I'm a wuss. I'm a little wuss. But... It seems so similar to Slender Man. Yeah, so if you don't know, Slender Man is a video game or its own indie game, and it seems a lot similar to it if it's not, if, if inspired by or, or whatnot. Oh, but, weird. but the point is, it, it looks weird. I'd probably see it with him, and we'd hold each other and cry. No. No? No. Okay. I'm not touching you. <laughs> um, so, on to our next segment, which is our weekly discussion. So... This week, the, t- the question was, what are your top five favorite films inspired by comics? Right. So, first, give us I'll, your top I'll start off with my top five. So, I like to be different. So, I didn't want to go with, in this day and age, the movie, theaters are filled with Marvel and DC films. Mm-hmm. I've been a comic guy since I was in fourth grade. Love comics. I own over 400 comics. Like, I love comics. Okay. I have action figures, comics, love it. I want. I love movies. But I'm really judgmental over doing movies in film wrong. Don't you dare. I'm just, what, I'm not timing you. So. It's not like you've been taking a minute to explain yourself to the lead up. I want to lead up. I'm very difficult. Yes, he is. My first movie is Spawn from 1997. You're probably thinking this is... An animated series. The only movie, live action it wasn't, movie. I didn't think it was an animated series. I only saw an animated movie for Spawn. So then I went, okay, whatever, and I left it as is. I probably will go watch Spawn. It's a dope home. movie. It really is a really cool movie. If you're into a darker side of comic fiction, definitely check it out. Um, I like it. It's definitely on my, in my like, your top five movie top top like 50 movies of all time okay it's on that next um, one next is 2015's ant-man yeah it's a marvel movie yeah it's kind of recent but it's one of those movies that did well but not as well as like the avengers and captain america it seemed like a fun movie it seemed like it, it probably got in his the light like the character really well but to me it wasn't like a movie it was more of like a joke I thought it was one of my favorite movies of 2015, and I loved how the actors portrayed their characters and how they took a play on doing two people, two fictional characters that have both been Ant-Man in the same movie. I really enjoyed that, and the incorporation of all the things going on, the storyline. I didn't and enjoy how the they, CGI they, of the guy being younger. I liked it. it. I thought it was cool. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely one of my favorite movies. Next one. Next Dread, 2012. This movie is awesome. I wish they did more with it. I wish there was a sequel. I wish more people knew who Dread was. Yes. He Judge, that if guy you don't know, it's Judge Dread. Thing. Judge Dread is the comic. D-R-double-D. 
Eve. I forgot me. This movie's awesome. Futuristic, law-driven society. It's not on Netflix anymore. It was. There's. Um, I think there was another movie that's similar to it where like they have um, political or, or your status is based where you live as well. Yeah. Which is kind of not well. It's not similar to this. This is just an entire space enclosed. This movie is awesome. If you can find it online or see it to buy it, get it. Movie's yeah. awesome. Definitely. If you worth like it. action and all that, you gotta watch it. It's I love it. The actors portray the characters perfectly. Next. Next. Guardians of the Galaxy, 2014. Saw the movie three times in theaters. This movie was awesome. I didn't know how to feel about it. Uh, going in, I was like, okay, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a random title. I never thought this would ever get a movie. I didn't know which series. If it was the f- original or this one. I didn't know what they were going to do. But they did it. They did it well. The actors were amazing. The characters that they chose to be a part of this squad in this film was really they well picked. They fit really well. Like Chris the, Pratt did amazing. They overlaid the current... The comics that were coming out at that time really well with the storyline. They really made the shift to make the team. They did everything well. Next, I'm just saying. Okay, my final one is Suicide Squad. It recently came out. I a lot of people didn't like this film. I personally loved this. I loved it. I lately I've been really getting to DC. Mm -hmm. I don't really like the movies much, but I really enjoyed this movie. I really enjoy the characters, especially the villains. So this is cool. It's like a r- little rogues gallery. I loved it. It was awesome. Will Smith was not expecting anything from him. Killed it. Literally amazing. Great, great dead shot. Way was. better than the dead shot in Arrow. Or was it? No, Bullseye was in uh, Daredevil. I, was, I, I might even Bullseye be... is, is Yeah, now Marvel. I'm just thinking of other things. Harley Quinn? In this movie, fantastic. Joker, eh, but they cut out half his his stuff, so we'll have to do what he said. It's a whole different discussion about this movie, but you know everybody did. They killed off one of the best characters. Real at the end, which pissed me off. But whatever, Tyler, your turn. You go. Okay, so my first one is of course one I said last week, which is uh, Captain America: The First Avenger. Now, last week we weren't live, so I mean that means nothing. But the point is, I love this movie. It inspires me in its own right because it went from, like, a guy who's, you know, from Brooklyn, scrawny, can't really do anything, but he doesn't give up. And then eventually he gets the super overpowered serum, and he doesn't use it for... Super overpowered serum. see what super soldier serum. I don't care. The point is, he could drink and not get drunk. So that's super overpowered. I'm just, I'm just saying. He's OP. He is OP. The point is, he fought a god in Iron Man. All at the same time, True. and he came out alive. And so he's why, just an why the first Avenger? Why the first one? Because half of the movie, or a good portion of the movie, is him developing his character as the skinny guy, right, as fine. the guy who's not that strong, but he doesn't give up, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to not fight for his country, but fight for what he believes in. It was okay. It was a cool. But one. that's my first one. I love it. I'll keep on watching it whenever I can. Next, Next one. So it's Deadpool. I went to the movie. It was hilarious. I couldn't stop. Everybody in the movie theater was laughing. I got tickets in class. I think I was actually right next to you. Yes. And I bought them, and I'm like, oh, wait. I meant to do it the next night, but I bought them for that night, so I had to rush home, grab my friend. We went out to the movies, came back at like 12 at twelve a.m., whatever the midnight version of 12 is, and uh, that it, it was fun. I love the movie. If you haven't seen amazing. it, you should. Amazing movie. Next one is The Punisher. Fine, right? Uh, from 2004. Um, now, this guy this right is here... War Zone? Is no, a, this is the original. Yeah, this is The Punisher. Um, so, it was an awesome movie. I liked it. He actually first introduced me to the Punisher series, and then I got his comics. But just, I, I liked what he stood for, which was avenge, like vengeance Did you and see War Zone? I have not. But I will. I'll try. Um, next one is Howard the Duck from uh, 1986. The reason being is because it was more ridiculous and uh, in He's at the end of freaking Guardians, the, of, Guardians Galaxy. of the Galaxy. That's kind of why, why I put it in there. Plus, I wanted to have the oldest comic movie. so. I, but it was, a, it was a ridiculous movie when I was a kid. It's uh, rated R. I watched it when I was a kid. I really didn't get I anything. I had to steal the oldest movie from me. I had it with Spawn. No, I know. Ugh. I had to. But it's an interesting movie nonetheless. You should see it. Maybe not. It's kind of dated. Uh, and the last one is The Loser. Now you might see a common thing with 
mo- movies I like. Uh, what is this? I haven't even heard and, of this. And, well, not that, but uh, no. Chris Evans, I think it was. This is based on a comic? Yeah. Um, it's like a ridiculous comic in, in the sense of there's probably only a few pages, but um, they get, I think the movie was, they get um, thrown, not thrown out, but like the government is against them where they were a team of soldiers and then the all okay. right like similar to the a team where the government disembowels them and then they have to fight to get their t- name back i think um but it was just it was a good movie and I, i'm pretty sure it's chris evans like i, I love him as a ca- actor yeah so i watched almost all of his movies and i watched this way before i actually knew who he was so i like the movie he's also Those top five he's also captain america and johnny storm did you just get that I, w- I said there's a common theme. Next up, what are, the, what are our All releases? Right, so, next up is our releases coming out. So, coming out next week in theaters, September 28th, Vanished, Left Behind, Next Generation. On September 30th, you have Miss Pedic... Per- Peregrine's. Peregrine's Home for Particular Children. Then peculiar, peculiar children, Deep Water Horizon. Mark Wahlberg, give me a burger. Uh, Masterminds. Do, 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 do. Um, American Honey. Queen of Catwe. Probably said that wrong. Denial. Based on a true story. Sorry, you said M. S. Dehuni, the untold story. The man you know, the journey you don't. A man called Ove. Oy vague. Clown Town. Taking you down to Clown Town. They'll tickle, I mean, rip out your funny bone. Ha 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 pun. Amanda Knox. Murder on Trial in Italy. So that is the th- movies that will be coming out September 28th and September 30th this upcoming week, weekend, week. Uh, check out any of those. Make sure, we didn't mention it all the show, to tweet at us, at Goldsville, hashtag the stub or hashtag Pangea Game, whichever one you prefer. We'll look at both and let us know what you're going to see, what you thought was cool we mentioned, and what you wanted to talk about next week so, and future weeks. Real quick, we'll go over because uh, Selena did tweet at us. Um, first she asked, did you see Batman the Killing Joke? Me gusta. No. Or me gusta. I have not either, but I did see the like synopsis of it where like, CinemaSins were I heard it wasn't it. good. Yeah, it, it didn't sound that, it didn't really appeal to me the, when they saw it when I showed it. The story was good though. The story yeah. and the comics were good. Uh, she also said thanks for the shout out, guys. No problem. You walk Hey, that's us. Other than Hannah, you know what I'm saying. Um, and she said, I miss you guys so much. And, uh, yeah. Hashtag Snapchat me, Selena. Can we, am I able to zoom in on this? Could plus, 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 plus. I'm a fish. No, you just have goggles on. Anyway, and then that's pretty much it. So that's the stub. Up next is Pangea Gaming. Um, we'll Tune see. in next week at 2.30 on Wednesdays, every Wednesday. I'm Nick. Me, i Tyler. And this is The, the stub. stub. Click Peace it and out. check it.